Hi there. In this short video, I'm going to show you a few key steps that will help you get to grips often flying with buy now parameters. Buy now parameters offer a fast and easy way to change and modify the default behaviors on your buy now sales pages. On each contract, there's a link to the buy now parameters table. Just click it to access. This table shows the sort of functions that can be modified and controlled by adding one or more code strings to the end of your basic buy now URL. Now what do we mean by that? Let's just go back to the contract, we'll take the standard buy now URL and we'll paste it into a new page up here. Okay, now here will come up the standard buy now page. It's in English, I'm in the United States, so not surprisingly it's showing US dollars. Now I can use buy now parameters adding a piece of string code right at the end of the buy now URL to change the behavior of this page. I'll give you an example. Let's say I want to take this page and I want to change the language from English to Danish and I want to change the currency to euros and I don't want people buying this contract anymore to be able to use PayPal. All those three changes I can make using buy now parameters. Okay, they all start with an ampersand sign. I'm just going to add the first one here, ampersand. Now to change the language from English to Danish, I want to change the language setting here. I just put ampersand language equals sign and in capital letters Danish. You must spell it correctly or it won't work. Let's just reload the page and we should see now, hey, the language is, da is dance, that's Danish, and all the sales information now is displayed in Danish. The next thing I want to do is change from US dollars to euros and to display that. So the URL that I put in for that would have this extra code in there. Ampersand sign, and then I put in currency equals, and code for euros is EUR. Let's reload the page and see if that works. And hey, we see euros is now the currency of record for this transaction. The last thing I want to do is to get rid of PayPal. All right, that is another uh, string. We're going to start it off again with the ampersand. And it's going to just be payment pay how equals n. The n negates the default behavior. So let's just reload that and it should work. Usually if there's a mistake it's because the string wasn't put in correctly. And now if I look at the payment methods we can see PayPal is no longer available. So you can see there's a lot of flexibility in here just by changing that URL. And that's the URL that I'll link to from all my uh, links for the sale. Okay, let's take it a step further. One of the things we have on Plymouth is the ability to use buy now templates. We provide a couple of uh, default templates. The first is what we call the standard classic blue Plymouth template, which is this one here. And there's also a new one. Uh, and the new one has a, an extra uh, uh, buy now uh, parameter for its display. So let's say that I've got old contracts and they all display this uh, this classic template and I want to change to the new one. I'll do that by just adding the right template information as a string at the end of this uh, parameter. And it's like this. Put the ampersand sign and then it's template ID equals 2. I'll just reload the page and you'll see the new template comes up. It's still showing the language Danish, the value Euro, but it's a totally different look and feel to what we had before. Likewise, if I have a new uh, contract that I set up now after November 2009 on Plymouth, it will automatically show this template. If I want to show the old one, well, all I need to do is change the template ID number from 2 to 1. And now you'll see the previous template come up. And there it is. If I want to switch back, it's again just a quick change. Okay, so that's all for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it.